Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a nice quality of life update for Unify Access. There was a release called Unify Access Application 1.7.5 that allowed us to pair a Unify Protect camera to one of our access hubs. Also within that, we're able to add a chime. So if you swipe to call, the chime will go off, which is awesome. We have always been able to put a 12 volt chime within our Unify Access Hub, but now we could use the wireless one. But first, let's take a look at the release notes. So this was posted five days ago for the Unify Access application 1.75. Unify Access is now integrated with Unify Protect cameras by pairing cameras with your doors. You can now monitor them anywhere and anytime and watch a 20 second playback. So this is great for quality of life. It does only work in the web app. It doesn't work on the phone app yet. There are a few requirements to be able to run this. So we need Unify Protect application version 2.8.28 or above. We need Unify OS 3.1.13 and above. The Unify Access and Unify Protect application must be installed on the same console. So if you're using a UMVR, you're gonna have to install Unify Access on that UMVR and I will show you that. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my webpage at mactelecomnetworks.com. I do have a Discord channel and if you'd like to support me more, we do have affiliate links in the description below. Okay, right now I'm in my Unify Protect console and you can see that I have a G4 Instant and I have a UP Chime adopted into this controller. So let's click into our Access application. Right on the Access dashboard, where we go to pair these devices, we're going to go over to the device section, and then we're going to go to location hubs. We can see that I have door E303. We'll click on that and then go to settings. Under the settings, we could see paired devices and we could add those. So I'm going to pair a device and we have the G4 instant, and then I'm going to go over to the chime as well. And then we're going to pair that and press save. Now, since this is already paired, we could click on the G4 instant and we could get a live feed. So let me bring this camera up to my face and you should be able to see my face right there. And we could also unlock the door, click to unlock. Now beside me, I have a Unify access reader. I'm going to type in my pin pad to open the door and it will record a clip and then we could watch it. So you could hear that the door just opened and this clip should be going. And how we find it is in our log. So I'm going to wait a few seconds because it's about 20 seconds long and then we'll go into the logs. Okay, let's go find the clip in the log. So we'll go over to system log and click on it, and then we'll go to door openings. At the top, we can see Cody McCallum has entered door E303 with a pin, and we could see this clip. So we could look at the clip of me talking, and this is when I opened up the door. So this is doing it for 20 seconds. I really do like this new feature. Now you can see I have the UP chime in my hand and it's plugged into a power cord. Once we swipe to call on our access reader, it will start to ring. So let me go ahead and do that. You should be able to hear it through my mic. So I'm gonna swipe to call and here we go. So lots of people have been asking for an integrated chime with Ubiquity and now they have offered one. It's the same one that you'd use for your doorbell with Unify Protect. Now I factory reset the Unify Access Hub, the Unify Access Reader, as well as the chime and I brought it into my UMVR. You could see the UP chime. What we need to do now is set up Unify Access on our UMVR. As of the latest release of Unify OS on our UMVRs, Unify Access showed up, so we could click Install. Now we can see that two devices are ready to be added. I'm just going to press Set Up. We're going to agree to the terms and services, and then we're going to press Start. From here, now we can see that we have the main door and then we have the main door again, and it's gonna be an entry and we'll just press next. So it's saying register your cards. I'm just gonna press next. We're not gonna register any card to it. Step three is configure unlocked recordings and you could disable it or you could enable it if you'd like. So now you can see that we're sitting on the UNVR Pro and this is with Unify Access. If we go over to our devices and we click on the main door, we could do the same thing. Go over to settings and then we could pair a device. And then you can see all the cameras that are showing up under my UNVR. I'm just going to put in Caddy01 and then press save. Now, if we click on the Unify Access Hub, you can see it's the main door and under the overview, we can see that camera that I paired with it. By clicking on it, it's going to show us a live view. You could also pair more than one camera to this. What I'm going to do now, I'll enter my pin into the store, it will unlock and then it will record a 20 second clip. So you can see at the top, Cody McCallum has entered the main door with the pin and we'll click on the clip and it will show us the recording. There's not really anything going on in my Caddy-O right now, there's no cats in there, but you could see that it did do 20 seconds of recording and we could skip through it if anything was happening. So that's gonna be this video on the Unify Access and Unify Protect integration. I really do like this quality of life feature. One thing that I wish they would change is how long that we could have the chime ringing. The chime to me is too short. This is all it does.
So hopefully they can fix that in a future firmware update. If you like this new firmware update, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.